One fine American guy blocked her because she said she wants to have five kids. What the fuck? Like, are you serious? Because really, like, I'm sure he wants to just trap you. This is not fair. I want my MRS to go for you, but I didn't see you, baby. Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? What's it happening? My name is Omi Odike Mwachiko and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling. Hey, I like to give very sweet and juicy gist and today's gist is sweet. Hey, Omo. As in, I don't know whether I want to say that I'm embarrassed or I'm confused. I really, I think the word is confused. As towards Imaro's fan base, you get me? we're doing i was just like wait is this normal no no no. you and i will listen to this one together and you will tell me what you think about it because you see the things that happened between cross and Lika rose and then imaro's fan base and what's like what's happening just on of course just on Lika rose team we also have just on yuri oh my gosh yuri is doing something so funny and i'm just like we have to talk about this here you will oh mashallah and oh have you guys heard about this guy called Madoka okoye he is a super ego player instagram girls wanna die scratch that all the ladies online except me please they want to die for him you get me and he now came to review something i'm like wait let's talk as ladies do you get me are we gonna put our head there we're going to just stand the way eh? we talk about all that and many more in the comment section i say in the comment section we talk about all that today if i start gisting subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i'll appreciate it here yeah? and let's start gisting so let's start with uriel's own because it was funny let me tell you what happened so uriel oputa uriel says that she has been talking about how we should stop calling her ex bb ninja house me that she's now more than that she's a businesswoman she's also a chef so we're going to call her chef uriel okay baby girl Listen, so Yure Loputa, Chef Yure Loputa, just joined an online dating site here and she came to share her experience with us and as I was reading and even hearing what she was saying, I was so confused. Like, I'm just like, wait, wait, chill. And if you do online dating sites, come, come, let's have a conversation because this one, I was confused. Let me tell you what she says. I joined a dating app. Blame my friend Fatima. Anyways, it's okay. Yo, or you both guys like me, Sha. Fam, these guys are savages. One guy blocked me because I said I go to a Ghanaian church. Is it the fact that she goes to a Ghanaian church or the fact that she goes to a church? Because I don't get it. Anyways, that's why the guy blocked her. Listen, no. But as she does go to a Ghanaian church for real, for real. <laughs> One fine American guy blocked her because she says she wants to have five kids. I can imagine how like scary that must sound. Like five kids with this chick. He probably wants to just drop. And you're already giving him a number of kids that you want. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, are you serious? Because really, like, I'm sure he wants to just trap you. Online dating site, you get me? And you're talking about the number of kids you want to have. Maybe girl, she, you know, you do not getting any money. So she says, um, the other guy blocked me because I asked if he knew about Jellof Rice. Like, are you serious? Just leave that site already. Those people are not serious. You get me? She now comes to say that I almost, I just, they laugh for here. These guys, they block me, eh? I'll ask one if he has tried dry fish. So she really now had to come to make a voice note to tell us that, see, she's not even joking. This thing is quite embarrassing. Like, listen to you real, give the gist herself. Listen. I'm real, but... I don't think I'll meet anybody from there, like, outside, go and meet. Because it's scary. Like, you don't actually, actually know. The site, they verify people. So that one is a good thing. But, oh, my God. These guys are savages. You can just say, I don't like potato. And they love potato. They're blocking you. Hey, way. Panchi no nilo. Um, savages times ten. If you think, hell. Anyway, Sha. Blocking continues. Join me. Part one, episode seventeen. Wait, let's have this conversation. Like, let's have this conversation. Do you guys do? I'm just going to say what I want to say. I'm happy that I did not have to go through dating sites. I don't think because I don't think I can ever take anybody I meet off dating sites seriously. Do you get me? Because like I think the only the, my only memory of dating site was to go. Do you guys do to go? I did to go. If you don't even if you don't even know what to go is, oh man, yes, baby, I did to go a lot. And even I was I was giving guys lamba, baba. Me, I was giving or I was giving them lamba up and down, and I never went to go and see anybody. Like, there's no know for I mean, there are a lot of people outside for me to just do this inside. And I understand. Actually, like when you work for yourself, you're almost always in your house. 
Man, it was hard to meet guys these days. So how is it? Like, tell me. I really want to know. Like, is it hard? My husband, we, we've dated for uh, for years, for like eight years. I'm telling you, we're breaking up and dating, but you know, for a while. So I don't understand the but online see people. I can't take them seriously. I'm not even interested. Nah, bruh. I really want to know. Like, if, if you met somebody off a dating site and it works for you, do you get me? Please tell me. Talk about this. What's the experience like? Like. Are we missing something? Because I just can't take them seriously. Like, I don't even know these people. And to me, all the guys there want to just punch. That's how I feel. Like, they all want to punch. If they lose God, they'll punch you. Like, why is a guy blocking a girl because she says she goes to a Ghanaian church or she likes jollof rice? Like, the street was a military man. I really want to know. Share your experiences in the comment section. My darling, let's move to a martial art. You know, I told you guys a martial art actually. We just got engaged after like how many years of looking for the right one, all that. But guess what he came to announce to us today? A martial art has come to tell us that, see, man, they are expecting a baby boy. A martial art literally put a video of his scan, like the scan that they went through, yeah, online. Like, they were showing us even, you know, the sex of the child. I'm just like, oh, more. You know, they fear village people. You know how our parents say, don't tell anybody. Hide it. Village people come and catch you. Oh, my God, I say, I beg, but leave me. Where where, 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 where then? They, I be worried, boy. What's up with you? And, 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 listen, I like the, the caption. I think that was the funny one. The caption that he wrote talking about the baby was even, like, the funniest. Like, I saw, I was just like, who's this guy? See what he says. All these years, I was thinking my pee-pee don't work or does not work finally we got a very long leg start oh i now put hashtag a eat a me i'm guessing that's the child that's the name of the child already you get me but let's look at this scan together listen the baby's leg baby so big Like, that's a grown-ass man. Oh, my God. I'm happy for martial arts. And, like, I am very happy for him. I'm happy that he's starting his life. I'm happy that, you know, he has found the one. They already have a child. And make no mistake, really, I, I feel like usually when they show things like this, the lady might have already given birth. Nobody knows. But pick up the term. Massive congrats to them, my darling. I'm so excited. If you are, please tell me in the comment section, my darling. I am intentionally leaving Jika Rose and cross his own to the end of this video because that one, your jaw will be open, like for real. Like you'll be very confused. So on that note, let's talk about this guy called Maduka Okoye. Oh my gosh, yo. You know Afcon is on right now, yeah, exactly. And as Super Eagles brought out their players, yeah. Nigerian ladies were like, ah. Look at this Maduka Okoye guy. Oh my, I think he's a goalkeeper. Oh my gosh, talking about him. No, really, the guy's hands. The boy, hands. You get me? He's really handsome. I can't lie. Do you understand? But they've been talking about him, talking about him, talking about him to the point where he finally did an interview with an, a Nigerian lady, obviously. And the lady has to ask him, like, Maduka, are you single? Why are you, like, what's up? Do you have a woman in your life? Maduka says no. You're not asked Maduka, what kind of woman do you need in your life? Oh, my Maduka did there. Hey, he did there. They explained the woman that he wants, how he wants a toxic woman. What, what, who wants a toxic woman? You see, guys confuse us. No, we, guys, you guys confuse us, ladies. It's confusing. Listen to Maduka. If I tell you what I think about the whole matter, yeah? Let's just listen to Maduka and what he had to say because. And I want to talk to my ladies as well. Like, ladies, you know, you know what, chill. I'm searching because a lot of single ladies are tuned into the broadcast at this point. Just <laughs> the point. Yeah, I'm, I'm single. I'm single. Okay. They can hit me up. They can hit me up. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, ladies. Um, how do you like? How do you like your women? I like I like every type, but there has to be melanin. So I, I like my melanin. Okay. Yeah. Melanin. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. Curly, toxic. Like, what does it mean when a guy says he likes toxic ladies? Some guys will say they don't like ladies that nag. 
Some guys say they want ladies that want peace of mind. Let me tell you what I feel. It's just me. I feel like when a guy says I like to talk to ladies, I feel like he's, he's still in the in the phase of having fun, just having my girlfriend, all that thing. Don't you get me? That's how I feel. Okay, maybe not say when a guy. I, I would say 90% of guys that say I like toxic ladies, yeah, are just are still in the phase of just having fun, just chilling, you get me? Not anything serious, right? Now, the 10% might not be the ones who want to marry toxic ladies, you get me? So, I'm saying that as ladies, like, cute, yeah? But, but, but let's talk about it. Like, you, you see how um, he said, ladies, you can hit me up now. So, are you going to hit him up? Like, would you think? Because I think, like, a lot, a lot of ladies right now will be hitting him up in the DM and saying, hi, Mazika. Ah, you'll be so cheap. Shit, don't do that. Ladies never reject it. Because, like, are you joking? Like, you'll be that... Imagine, just imagine how you look. Just imagine how you look. Imagine if you were his friend and he's showing you all the messages that ladies were sending to him. Imagine how you look. Like, ladies, maybe for the fun of it, maybe for the fun of it, yeah. But, like, real life, like, just because you want to catch him and date him. Do you know how many ladies will be in his DM sending all kind of... If you watch this video, let this be a cue. You get me telling you don't hit him up like that. I believe it's better to miss him in person. You, you, let's say some miraculous way you're in the same like environment or place. You get me that he is. Yeah, you can show your shorts. You know, smartly, yo, smartly. You get me, but like, don't just go and he, you know, send him DM and ah, no, that cannot be me, man. Nah, bro, I can't even lie. No, 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 no. I just feel I, I, I just. But what do you think? Le- leave me, you. What do you think? Do you think, oh, me, I don't leave you. Hey, this Nigeria, I also, I'm using him up straight, straight. I really want to know your opinion in the comment section. My darling, let's now put our hands and leg in the pot of soup as it's boiling. Now, what happened? Just come, you, you, you and I would judge this matter together. You know how in Danny TV does this TGIF thing, yeah? They bring like two celebrities and sit them down and ask them questions. It's a fun game. And they ask you questions and try to play with your head. If you miss a question, you take a shot of alcohol. You get me? It's, it's fun. If you guys don't know the show, check it out. TGIF and Johnny TV. I swear I love it. I, I, to make you laugh, it's just a chilled, you know, show, yeah? Exactly. So, you know, they had called, I think that the different people have come. Lekon and V was there, um, or were there rather, um, uh, from, maybe not, from Shine Your Eyes. We had Maria and Michael. You know, people have been there. We even had Jackie B and Sammy. You get me? And so they now brought the Corrodes and Cross. Now, I, I really want to play everything for you so you understand, right? When the Corrodes and Cross got there, obviously they, they don't see as often like they were seen in Bibi Ninja House. And they and Cross had said, in fact, they both said that they've known each other way before Bibi Ninja way before right so they see themselves and you know long time I'm, oh my god i've missed you they hug it was a tight hug the corals even jumped on cross's body you get me because there's a there are videos to this one maybe i should play this video so that people can watch it because i really want to give you guys context if i reveal to you the audio that imaro's fans were doing i was just like what is this hey geez listen so the cameras now came and jumped on Cross's body. Like you could tell that they've missed my friend. Do you get me? Exactly. So of course, you know, they put it up on their Instagram. Of course, bloggers carried it, put it up, put, um, put it on our, on our own blog page that ah, you know, Lika Rose and Cross uh, you know, just, just happy to see each other, yeah. That's how like some hours later. Who did I see? Hey, listen, I'm going to first eh, play you the audio that I got from the from the like fan base here. Eh? And afterwards, I will now play you cross listening to the audio. And I want you to just see Cross's reaction and just how I don't want to call this a name, but like how outrageous really it was to just like listen. Mama Joyce, Sharon, who they gonna post this kind of nonsense to our group? We are rich, we are ashamed, we are Imaro shipper, not crossroads shipper. Who they gonna post this kind of nonsense for here? I don't just like them at all. Mona not Mona, Mona not they post this kind of nonsense for here. Because I'm angry. The way I'm the way I'm feeling, I'm very, very angry. Cross talking for us saying go stand she liquor rose from Imaro. You don't don't think that that is what he's trying to do. What we're gonna put them for here? Then they are not happy, oh I'm not happy. Mona just delete this thing come up for this our group. I don't want to see her. Now yeah. 
I say fans take these things too seriously. Like you guys need to calm down. What do you want? Do you want your faith to live in isolation? Is that what you want? Like cross look at look at Cross's life outside the house. I look at Lika Rose's life. Does it look to you like they want to come out? That's not what they're thinking about. One, two. They can't live in isolation. They need each other. See, there's 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 leaders as much. There's the one that fans will do hmm, for their faith. There's now the ones that they themselves will help each other and do. Do you get me? Yeah, when they sign deals, of course, you know, fans will go and buy their product. That's good. Do you get me? Like, but you cannot want to control their lives. No, you can't. It's even unfair. I'm sure even in your own life, you don't want someone to control you. And they cannot have, they cannot really just hug like friends. Like, what is this? You people are taking it to say, calm down. Yeah, maybe Cross said it in passing. Maybe he said it, but like, look at the house. The cross looked like he was going to, like, chickens. I don't know. When I, when I heard this, I was just like, man, fans are taking this thing too seriously. And just wait, let's now play the video. Hmm? Of course, reacting to this whole like this voice notes and just see what happened. Chill, listen. Can you hear? Cross is laughing. Like he's la- he's literally laughing. You guys, I know that you love your faith. I get it, but like, stop. Those come and sound like some broken record. Yeah, you can give your faith all the money and thing, but allow them fraternize with each other. Allow them because it takes more than just fans to grow somebody. You get me? Like you don't know the links that you don't know. I man, this one weak me, weak me, weak me. Uh, is that not finished though? Another fan of the Coros, and in fact, Imaro's shipper, you get me, now come and is now crying that they have been tagging Danny TV scenes. That Danny TV should play a yeah. These people are just hungry to see Emmanuel and the Coros just show them that they love each other. That's literally what it is, obviously, because this lady was crying profusely that she, she, that she had begged, you know, Danny to please bring Emmanuel and the Coros together, like when they come for um, TGIF game, that they should not separate them, they should be together and see what Danny now did. Danny now brought the Coros and Cross instead of the Coros and Emmanuel. Just listen, like, I was just like, hey, nah, give me name, but listen. like is this real like really like was that tears real someone needs to hug that lady and tell her like calm down and then it's if they're being strategic what if Emmanuel was busy what if what what like you guys man you guys stop and to top it up oh, I, I think I think it was that nice I'm not sure if it was that nice but after this whole voice note has been circulating here yeah, there was now a clip you know so we saw a video of Emmanuel and Lico Rose going out together so I hope that is just somewhat of a consolation like calm down they are still good like oh, is you crazy something huh? so at least they went out together Jesus, like Emmanuel and Lico Rose went my fans need to calm down. Like, get, I just put your mouth in the matter because this one, I'm, I'm just dazed. I'm just like, you guys, like, I don't get. What's this 15, eh? But shall I understand, shall I, the man and the are not even giving us any vibe. For all we know, they are not even dating. And I know that their, half, their fans are going to come to the comment and say, oh, me, how do you know? But obviously, what I mean is, 
with no there, there's no post there's no video there's nothing that even shows that you know they are even still together so i get that they are real shippers who like who miss them i want to see that but to me i just think man this is extreme like it's even scary like you guys <laughs> put your mouth in the matter i beg what's your opinion just tell me what do you think about this matter does it make sense to you? Does it not make sense to you? Tell me what it is in the comment section, my darling. That's the gist of all today in my love. My name is Omi Odike Nwachiko. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up because really, thumbs up helps videos grow. If you watch this video to this point in time, honey, oh yeah, go and give me a thumbs up. At least you liked it, Abby. Go and thumbs this video up and please subscribe to my channel. I love you with all my heart, my darling. I have a vlog channel where I show you guys my life and behind the scenes of what I do myself. And um, really, like, my vlog channel is very interesting. Like, I really want you to check it. If you do not find it interesting, move on. But I know you will love it. I know you will. You get me? So, please, um, I'll put a link down below to my latest vlog. Go there, click it, and watch it. I also have a channel for anybody who is just lost in life. And, okay, okay, let me tell you, yeah. If you wanted to, like, just worship God with your heart, yeah, and you just have not been able to see any, like, just one hour collection of worship song that is powerful you know then we start with sweet songs all of a sudden maybe like five minutes into the collection you'll be like which kind which thing the vibe just ah that has been my case for a while i said you know what oh maybe i create your own worship song collection and i did oh my gosh you will love it i'm telling you i'll put a link down below to it if you want and my own is two hours because me I, I don't do small things you get me so if you want like a proper two hours worship let's say you're whatever you're doing you're driving to work you're in your house you want to pray whatever you just are doing but you need like worship song for for like two straight hours of powerful worship let me help you i'll put a link down below to my collection go there click it and watch it i promise you you will love it because all i do is go with my love i love you all my heart thank you for watching my video and i want to hear your opinion about everything i said in the comment section my darling don't forget my vlog channel is talk to your homie vlog and the other channel is pennywise they are only on youtube not on instagram only on youtube does it i love you peace out